Hi everyone, welcome to this week's vlog. It does look like winter's finally arrived here in Fuerteventura, but we don't mind a few clouds and we make the most of it with some stunning walks and wave watching. It's Friday morning and it's a little bit cloudy. Mind you, it started off cloudy yesterday and then it was boiling, so we'll see. We're in Coraleco this morning. We've parked near the Campanario shopping centre. Um, it's only 10 to 10 and we've got a few things to do in, in town in Coraleco. We need to go to one of the phone shops. I might try and have a look in the charity shop. I want to get some steps in. And then at one o'clock we're due round at our friend um, Carol and Gary's they've invited us for lunch so we're going to go around to theirs they're staying kind of over the other side of Coraleco so, so like the Bristol area so we're going to get in a few steps hopefully today have a nice day have a nice lunch it's pretty cloudy I've got my hoodie on I don't know if I'm going to be too hot but we'll see but first stop as always is the Campanario so I can go to the loo Martin's just trying to beat me up with the palm leaves pretending that it's the wind <laughs> it is quite windy actually Coraleco was so busy um, even quite early on there was a lot of people in like the main strip I don't know if it's because it was cloudy but it just seems to be getting so busy there. Every time I go there, it's there's more and more people. Um, anyway, I took a little bit of footage to show you the shopping centre. Just had a little look at a few clothes shops, but I'm not going to get anything today. Um, I want some more summery stuff, really, and they've still got a lot of their winter stuff out. So um, I'll wait for now. We're going to just go to the phone shop now, see if we can sort Martin's phone out, although I've lost him better try and find them. We carried on just walking right the way down the main street and then we as always kind of headed off to have a look at the sea and even on a dull day the colours are absolutely stunning. We then went back to the main street to grab a coffee and we then went and sorted out Martin's phone. Again they were so helpful in the shop, brilliant, he's now got a Spanish number which is great. We headed to the tourist information because I wanted to pick up one of the tide time maps that they do, which are really useful, especially when we're going to Cotillo and places like that, so we know when the what what the tide's at, what stage it has. It's at it's actually a surfer's map, so they're free, so they're really, really helpful and it's got the tides for the whole year. Then we just carried on walking around, we went all around the back streets. Our friends were staying in the Bristol area, so, you know, we went round all the old bit and around the back streets, and then I wanted to have a look in the second-hand shop as well. Nothing much in the second-hand shop today, but it's always good to have a look. We're just about coming up to one o'clock, so we're going to go and uh, see our friends now. That coffee we had in like the main street was really good. It's very nice. We've been there before actually. Um, very reasonable. It was three forty for two coffees, and they were quite large coffees, weren't they, Martin? Yes. Is that the correct answer? Yes. We're just looking for our friend's apartment now. I think they're going to have a lovely view. The waves are good today. I've just taken a few clips, so I'll show you them now. was the gorgeous view looking across towards Lobos Island from our friend's apartment. We're back, we walked back to the car, we had a lovely lunch with our friends, we had chicken and cheese and salads and bread and potato salad and strawberries and I had fizzy water to drink so it's been really nice. 
Um, we're going to drive home now. I think it's about five o'clock, isn't it? <laughs> We've done plenty of steps today, and because it's Friday, we're going to watch a film. I'm not sure what yet, and just chill. I wasn't hungry, so some popcorn and a shandy whilst we watched my big fat Greek wedding. On Saturday, we decided to go for a big walk because it was really blustery and not too warm. The waves were crashing in. It was absolutely fantastic. I'd done a Zoom call with my dad, so we didn't go out till about half ten. Um, and we parked at Costa de Antigua and then we walked out towards where Mercadona and all that lot are. And it was just stunning. I absolutely love it out there. And I'm so grateful it's right on our doorstep because it's really wild and really rugged. The waves were crashing in. The wind was howling, hence why I'm doing a voiceover. Because I wouldn't, you wouldn't have been able to hear me speak. I could hardly hold the iPad steady, actually. But I just love the big waves when they're rolling in like this. We spent a bit of time on the beach just pottering around and sitting watching the waves did a good number of steps actually this is a good long walk and we stopped off at Windy Miller's and had a cup of coffee just sat looking at the view when we got back I've gone outside and done my Spanish homework and then I wanted to do some craft this afternoon so I'm having a go here and be kind because this is my very first attempt um, at doing some daisies on my jeans. I'm not very happy with how they've turned out but what I want to do is wash the jeans now and see whether like they come unraveled or the the thread like leaks or not leaks you know what I mean the the yellow stuff just see what happens um, and then I'll probably unpick them. I was also just having a look at my new macrame cotton, which I found in the china shop, which I was delighted by, so I can make some more plant pot holders. Sunday morning, and we're off to find some breakfast. We decided today to leave the car at home and walk down the hill, because when it's a bit cooler, it's no problem walking back up the hill. We just don't like it when it's really hot. So we walked down, and... About halfway down the hill, there's a place called the Monte Castillo Centre. We don't go there very often, but there are a lot of bars in there. There's a lot of ones that show football and sports, and they're very popular. I think there's a music bar as well, and there's a great Indian and a Chinese as well. And then there's like Molly's Irish Bar, which has bingo and like live music and all that kind of thing. So I just thought I'd show it to you as we were walking past. We did, we did a really long walk this morning, which is kind of the plan when we are going to have a breakfast. Because obviously I am trying to lose weight and a breakfast is a lot of calories. But we've done like nearly 15,000 steps today. So, you know, it kind of balances it out. Anyway, we headed for the White Centre and we wanted to try a place called Lynn's, which we've heard really good things about. And so we had a breakfast which included a really big coffee and it was delicious. I think it was €8.50 and the service was absolutely brilliant. The food was really good. The weather is absolutely gorgeous now. Um, the sun's out, it's warm. I'm just sitting in the back garden on my sunbed. I've been doing a load of cleaning I just did some sweeping in the front, I cleaned the windows and I just thought I'd come and sit out here and read my book for a while. The plants are doing quite nicely as well out the back here. Um, this one, the Bourbonvillea, is doing really well. There's, I don't know if you can see, there's quite a few flowers on this side as well now. But it's grow it, they grow really quickly, so I might even need to cut this back. It's gone a bit crazy. I've also done a small te temu, timu uh, order, you know, like the online thing, because there's t temu Spain, just to see whether it turns up. I only ordered a couple of things and nothing important, but we'll see. It might turn up. 
Yeah, it's really nice and peaceful out here. I, I tend to sit out the front more than the back because obviously we've got the view at the front. But this is really nice when you're just reading. I've just been updating my little notebook that I use just with the things that I want to get done in March. Just a few um, goals and, you know, I think I showed you this in like January, but just my March goals so I'm still doing my swimming trying to lose weight the fitness um, my Spanish and I will talk more about my Spanish learning in another vlog in probably in two weeks time because people have been asking me about it I'm still doing my writing which I'm really enjoying and then I've also got some crafts that are on the go which I did show you a bit about yesterday and then I've just done this which is I've just added to this like monthly jobs, things that I want to get done around the house uh, in March. And then just my food and other stuff. So yeah, it's been a nice day today. We're going to have meatballs and pasta for dinner. And then tomorrow we've got, we're back to chores again. We've got, I've got to go to the bank and pick up my card. And then a friend of ours is having an operation, so we're going to go round and see her and see what she needs us to do to help. We said we'd help out, um, so we'll we'll do that tomorrow. And obviously food shopping again tomorrow, which seems to come round very quickly. And then I think we might go to El Catillo. Um, as well this week and I've got Spanish class and I'm meeting some friends so yeah it's going to be another busy week. As you can see I'm in the kitchen just done the washing up and I've got about 45 minutes before I need to before we need to go around to our friend's house so I'm going to try and get a couple of jobs done. We've been for our early morning walk and we tried to go to the bank but it was closed until 10 o'clock normally it opens at 8 but for some reason today it was closed so we'll have to do that another day so what do I need to do I'm going to wipe the kitchen surfaces down I might try to just give the fridge a little bit of a clean because we're going shopping later I don't know why I opened the fridge random um, and the bins need taking so here you don't have um your own kind of like wheelie bin hang on a minute that's better i've put you in the cupboard so i don't have to hold on to my ipad yeah here you don't have your own wheelie bin like you do in the uk um there's like communal bins which are not far you know there's a lot of them so depending on where you live depends which one you go to whichever's your nearest our one is not far at all and they empty them every day um there's like an ordinary one and then there's a glass one for glass one for paper one for cans and cartons so obviously we've got our little bins in the kitchen and then we just take them along to the big bin i imagine it's because it gets hot here um they used to do the same in greece you know they don't want loads of smelly rubbish hanging around so i think that's why but i might be wrong that's just what i think so yeah i'm gonna do these few little jobs and then we're gonna pop up to our friends and um see what she needs us to help her with which we're very happy to do we're gonna have tea and stuff with her as well then it's lunch time and then i will sorry we need to go shopping a couple of bits from the china shop have a look in ikea at some like flooring stuff for the area that we're trying to decide what to do with outside which we keep changing our minds about um and then we need to do a food shop so i'm going to sort out the fridge now yeah we haven't got much left i'll probably have the rest of that hummus for lunch um, I'm just going to give the shelves a wipe and have a look down here, see if there's any kind of iffy things that need using up and then it will be ready for us to fill it up later. I'm just going to give all the little trays uh, just a little clean out, they get a bit dirty, nothing major but I'll just give them a wash as well. Then I'll 
I'll just give all these shelves a bit of a wipe and pop everything back in. Right, that's better, all done, all organised, ready to fill up later. And then anything that just looked a bit sort of beyond its best, I'm just going to cut these up and put them in the freezer until I've got enough to make a soup. I've got already a bit of courgette in there from last week. So I'll just do that quickly now. And um, yeah, then when I'm ready, I'll just get it out of the freezer, um, pop it all in with some stock and you've got a, maybe some lentils and you've got a nice veggie soup and nothing goes to waste. These are the few bits that I got in the china shop and Ikea. This was from Ikea, which is just a, a large glass because I broke the one that I was drinking out of. And I do like to drink a lot of water and like lemon water in the morning. So that was a euro. And then I got a tiny little um, candle in Ikea because I wanted to try it and see what it was like before I buy a larger one if I like the smell. Um, this plant pot is for inside for one of my plants and it was on offer. I think it was one euro twenty. And I also got in IKEA 50 tea lights because I'm getting through the other ones and these were three euros so much cheaper than the Chinese shop. And then from the china shop, I just got various plastic plant pots. I want to put my rosemary into this one. Um, and then these two with the little things in the bottom, you know, that they sit in the bottom, are for meat and macrame. So, yeah. I mean, these cost like, I think this one was something like 49 cents. So it's not, you know, the last of the big spenders. But this is an ice cube tray thing which has got a lid on it I wanted to try and make some iced coffee so I thought that would be quite good I think that was 150 euros and then I just got these to try which are little cheapy fairy light LED light things I don't know what they're going to be like they were 1 euro 19 cents um, so yeah they're for me to play about with and then this was actually a garden tray thing, but I want to use this in the fridge to keep like the jars of pickles and things like that in. So that's going to go in the fridge. And then last but not least, my favourite thing to buy, crockery. I got two dinner plates. They're not massive. Let me show you. Oh, compared to my hand. They're not huge ones. Um but they're really nice and they match the bowls that I bought. So they had some other lush ones with fish on as well, but I resisted for now. I'm just cooking our dinner now. We've got mashed potato sausages. Martin's got chorizo ones and I've got chicken ones and carrots and leeks. But because I've put the oven on, I've also cooked some wedges to go with tomorrow's dinner just so I'm not putting the oven on only for one thing, obviously still trying to be frugal. And I've also cooked all the sausages and made like double the amount of mash and everything so I can pop half of it into the freezer and then it's like a really easy dinner another day. It's Tuesday now and I look like I've been out in a gale because it is absolutely bad the wind out there today. I've been to Spanish we did a walk before and I have had coffee, so it's with some friends as well, so it's been really nice. Um, I picked up a few books actually in the 
book swap in the place Zanzibar where I have my Spanish. First one's a Spanish reading book and this is meant for about uh, 12 year olds. So I think I should be all right with this. I think I will understand it. Um, maybe not every word, but I'm going to give that a be really good as part of my Spanish practice. My stomach's rumbling because I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. And I also got a cookbook, which is exciting because I do love cookbooks. And this is the Two Greedy Italians Eat Italy. So I can have a good look through that. I do like looking through cookbooks. We also popped into the British stores um, just before Spanish and they had hot chocolate. This is like gold dust. I've never even seen it in there before. They only had two left on the shelves. So I have picked that up. That will have to be a treat because obviously it's not like the options sort of one. It's um, the proper stuff. Yum. And then we also were down at the market just kind of walk through it and there was a second hand stall which was raising money for an animal a dog place I think it was and they were selling everything for one euro so I got this rucksack which is it's quite plain it's quite lightweight but it all you know it's in pretty good condition it's just got like a tie bit here the little rings falling off a bit and it's got a zip bit at the front there but I thought it was really nice I think it's made of like hemp or something like that um and I thought I could embroider onto it so that's going to be another project for me so I gave them two euros um they only wanted a euro but I mean I thought that was really good so successful morning as it's so windy, we're going to just carry on with steam cleaning this afternoon. So I'm not going to vlog anymore today. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I think we're going to go to El Cotillo. But I'm not entirely sure. It, a lot depends on the weather. Um, I have got some friends over there who I'd like to see. One of them is going back to Germany and the other one's going back to the UK. But I think they've got like another week or, or two before they go but we might go over tomorrow apparently the waves are immense over there so if we go I will be sure to show you um you know what we do we might even go to the labyrinth actually which is fab so I will show you that if we go if not I will catch up with you tomorrow got all the jobs done including the smeary dreaded windows so the view's looking good now and then I just thought I'd show you my little fairy lights I'm really pleased with them actually they're like LED ones but they're much better than I thought they were going to be happy days Piedra Playa Beach in El Catillo at low tide is one of my most favourite things to do. Always bare feet and always just walking along, looking at the amazing waves rolling in. If you're going to El Catillo, I highly recommend doing this. Like I said, for me, it's best when the low tide is in the morning because this beach can get quite busy with surfers and swimmers and things. Um, and actually, I love swimming at Piedra Playa, but usually in the summer when the waves are a bit smaller, it is lifeguarded. The, the, lifeguard hut, the lifeguard's hut is up on top of the, the cliff there, um, and they'll obviously fly a flag every day. Often in the winter, it's a red flag. And to be fair, we have been in in the past in a red flag and done, we were bodyboarding and stuff, and the waves are quite strong. So, you know, do be careful. We tend now to only swim there when it's um, green or yellow flag, but it's stunning. After we'd done our walk, we went and had coffee with friends and then we went and sat on the rock, in still in El Catillo, in the old harbour, and 
ate our lunch, we brought a picnic with us. And then in the afternoon, we headed down towards the lagoons, which are the other beaches in El Cotillo. By the afternoon, it was absolutely heaving. I've never seen so many cars along here. We used to walk along here all the time. Um, it really has got ever so busy. And I wanted to see the new beach bar. There used to be one there called Torino's, and it's changed now. It We didn't go in there, but by the signs, it's run by Azuro, which is the restaurant just across the road, which we've had some really lovely meals in in the past. There you can see it says Azuro Beach Bar. And it looks like they're just doing kind of snacky things, drinks, ice creams, that kind of thing. I love the lagoons as well as Piedra Playa. This beach here is called La Concha, which means the shell, and it's very popular. As you can see, the water is stunning. I love swimming in this uh, lagoon. Absolutely gorgeous and very safe because there's like a reef which generally stops the waves from coming over. So stunning. Thank you for watching. See you in the next vlog. Bye.